Okay, so Feather, since you're from around here and you grew up around here, what did you hear about this house and about Teddy Wilson? Um, well, Teddy Wilson lived up in that apartment up there, and I guess he was a heroin addict, and he shot up and had a heart attack or some shit, but his mistress came home and found him and hung herself above his body. We're going to take this big adventure and actually go inside, right, and investigate? <sighs> yeah. Um, he, personally, he used to freak me out because I used to stare out my window uh -huh. when him and that girl, when they would do their drugs or whatever they do, and they did this really weird thing. They'd come out and start chopping at the tree and... Chopping at the tree? I mean, yeah, they came out with, like, machetes. Oh, wow. They'd chop at the tree. That is insane. Yeah, imagine living next to them your whole life. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm glad he's gone, but it's a lot more peaceful now yeah. that he's gone. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Wow, this looks disgusting. Here's baking soda. It's intensely crazy in here. There's the blood on the floor. Here's blood. There's the blood on the floor. And will you show me where he, where he actually died? Yeah, and where the woman hung, him, her, hung herself. Up there. Oh wow, I'm going to go up there. I can't deal with this. Get this shot. Oh fuck, did you hear that? What are you talking about? Dude, what is it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I can't do this. I can't. They said that Teddy's girlfriend would collect these china dolls and most of the crackheads that would be in here would say that they could see the dolls move their heads. Like literally they would spin around. Alright, well I'm not taking home anything of his.